today we're going to uh, see a psychiatrist. Where we live, we've shared in the past, is pretty rural. That's a hard word to say. It is rural. Rural. Yeah. rural. Anyhow, uh, rural. to get to like a, a good facility, unless you want to use like what they call telepsychiatry, which is where you see like a psychiatrist through the TV, uh, we have to drive about a, about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Let's just say roughly two hours. We have finally found a good doctor in, um, like, in an area. In an air, like two, and it's a two hour drive. You know, today that's where we're going to. And we always joke like, you know, we're going to the big city today. And well, I mean, it's like a six hour trip total. Well, I mean, yeah, because you got to drive up for two hours, go in the doctor. And then drive back. And then drive back. So that's at and least four hours. And if you get caught in traffic or, well, no, or more than four. It's like four and a half at least if you said doctor 30 minutes. That's true. And then we usually try to stop somewhere like places we don't normally get to go. Okay. What's that place we're going to today though? The Fresh, Fresh Market? Market? Yeah. When going to doctors is like, it's like shopping for a car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> unless, unless you know a guy who yeah. can get you a sweet deal. Like you're a consumer. The doctor is your product. If a well, I mean, like he's a provider. He's a provider, of a, provider of a product. If you do not, if you're not pleased with that product, shop somewhere else. I'm sure you yeah. guys have had situations too where somebody's like, "Oh, you got to go here. They're great." And you didn't really drive with them. That's okay. If if you know, take your money and your insurance somewhere else and spend it. Like if you weren't pleased with the service at a restaurant, you wouldn't you wouldn't feel guilty if you didn't go back to Olive Garden, would you? Not that up. I mean, so, I mean, okay, so pick a restaurant that you like. If you're not pleased with the service, you won't go back. So we wound up uh, finally finding a provider in Roanoke. Uh, it's a female, she's young, uh, kind of the same personality as Rachel. But, you know, you know they kind of just get along well, they mesh well. Our today is we go to the psychiatrist every maybe six, six months. months. If it, like this today is a different situation. Yeah. I hadn't I had noticed that my anxiety and depression have been cycling for over a month, which is a good red flag for me that something needs to be adjusted. This is not an average every six month appointment. trip to the doctor. That's the first time I'd ever taken Jordan in to that doctor with me and it was really helpful to have him. I got Jordan's a really good care person. Like he I'm is, a good historian. He's able to follow up and say, yeah, you've had some anxiety and this is what happens when you look like that. And you've had depression. This is what happens. Some hypomanic symptoms. Yeah, so Long story short, we're trying a new uh, well a mood stabilizer called Lamictal that I've tried before. I think it worked. And it worked. Like, so we're going to try it again. Mm -hmm. The rest of the day here, we're going to go do some shopping. So let's... We're at the Fresh Market. We're at Fresh Market. I don't think we're tourists. We're not tourists. Never seen a Fresh Market before. There's nothing like this in little old Blaine County where we're from. <laughs> sensitive palate to artificial sweeteners it's clear it's clear no it it's not it is yep. huh. you may not like that I can taste the sweetener in it really bad can you taste the sweetener in it it's got that tartness of like you know like some artificial sweeteners have like a tart and it's a citric acid so where are we going first? Target? I guess Target. Oh my gosh. 
You can get Polaroid cameras. Yeah, come back in style now. What? What? I haven't seen those, but I have what? seen those come back in style. Like the old timey iPod, what they call them. Good lord. Yeah. Oh, well, I've just Ow. popped right out. Oh, dang. Okay. Did you cut yourself? Popped right open in it. Oh, that's a nice tripod. Where to now? Let's go get some chicken. So go out there and get a lift on that road. Hmm? So I can't stay in this parking lot and get there. No. What's your favorite thing to eat? Oh, chicken. Okay. If I was gonna pick one thing, it might be chicken. What's that crap called? Grilled. No. Oh, maybe are you going? Are you staying? Are you going? You She's coming? going. She friendly though. At least she waved. Guess I'd be grilled chicken. Guess I'd be a dry. No dip. No dip, Sherlock. You hungry? I mean, I'm hungry. Yeah, I, am I am hungry. hungry. Yeah. Like, I haven't been hungry. Just eat the butthole out of a skunk. I'm so hungry right now. That's gross. <laughs> wow, Chick fil A's really busy at 4 30 on a Friday. Alright, anything else? Uh, I think that'll be all. But you gotta say it this time. I, gotta I say always it. say it. You yeah. always, always, you always say it. That's just another day of living, Looney.